Hi students, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be touching on electrical systems. Here are some of the key concepts you have to take away from this video. Firstly, what comes to mind when you mention the word electricity? Electricity is a form of energy. The path through which electricity flows is the electric circuit. With regards to an electric circuit, what are the components that make up the electric circuit? There are mainly four components, specifically the energy source, wires, an electrical device like a bulb, and the switch. We'll be zooming in on the energy source like batteries first. This is how a battery should be drawn in a circuit diagram. A battery has a positive and negative end. The longer vertical line represents the positive end of a battery, while the shorter vertical line represents the negative end of a battery. Two ends of the battery should be connected for current to flow. Next, a switch has to also be connected in a circuit diagram as it is used to control the flow of electric current. When the switch is open, like as shown in this picture, there will be a gap in the circuit and current does not flow through. When the, circuit, when the switch is closed, it completes the circuit and current will flow through. Next, you'll be looking at the bulb. A bulb is an electrical device which is used to emit light. A bulb consists of a filament which is used to produce light and heat, a metal tip and a metal casing, and lastly, a wire to connect the filament to the metal casing and metal tip. Both the metal casing and metal tip of the bulb must be connected to different ends of the battery. The filament will produce light and heat when electric current passes through it. A fun fact is that the gas found inside the bulb has to be an inert gas like argon. Wires allow electric current to flow through them. Wires connect different parts of the circuit together. It is often made of copper and covered with materials like plastic and rubber which are insulators to insulate the wire and prevent current from leaking. Moving on, what are the different types of circuits? Firstly, we have a closed and open circuit. A closed circuit is when the switch is closed and the circuit is complete. Electric current can flow through it. The bulb lights up as electric current flows through it. Note that the metal case and metal tip of the bulb should be both connected to different ends of the battery using the wires. On the other hand, an open circuit occurs when the switch is open and the circuit has a gap. Electric current cannot flow and hence the bulb cannot light up. Next, series and parallel circuits. Series circuits occurs when there's only one path for the current to flow through it. Should one bulb be blown, the circuits will not work as it is now open and electric current cannot flow through. Both the, other, the two other bulbs will not light up. Parallel circuit occurs when there's more than one path for electric current to flow through. If one bulb has blown, the circuit will still work and the two other bulbs will still light up. In a, in a series circuit, current has only one path, as you can see from my um, arrow or the mouse, right, to flow through. So the battery's power, taking one unit as the battery's power, the battery's power has to be shared between the two bulbs and thus both bulbs will receive half unit of the battery's power. 
the battery's power will be shared equally and hence it will be, the both bulbs will be less bright as the power has to be shared. On the other hand, in a parallel circuit whereby current has more than one path as you can see here, it can flow through this path and it can flow through the other path here too, right? So current has more than one path to flow through, so each bulb do not need to share the battery's power and so each bulb will receive the power that is equal to the battery power which means that it gets one unit of the battery's power for this bulb this bulb likewise gets another one unit of the battery's power they do not have to share the battery's power because they have more than one path whereby the electric current can flow through it here's a fun fact on short circuits you may pause the video to read more about them moving on to electrical conductors and insulators. Electrical conductors allow electric currents to flow through them. Most metals are good conductors like gold, silver and copper. Silver is generally a better conductor than copper, but copper is usually used in current carrying wires as they are, as they are cheaper. Some liquids like salt solution and mercury are conductors too. Electrical insulators do not allow electric current to flow through them. They are non-conductors. They are mostly non-metals like wood, rubber and plastic. Electrical appliances are cased in insulators to prevent electric shocks. Wires covered are covered in plastic and rubber for that purpose too. Circuit testers are used to distinguish between a conductor and insulator. Conduct, the conductor or insulator is connected into the circuit here. The bulb will light up if it's a conductor as it allows electric current to flow through it. While the, and, but however, the bulb does not light up if, it's an, if it is an insulator as it does not allow electric current to flow through it. Now, let's recap on how the different circuit components should be drawn in a circuit diagram. The battery should be drawn like this, with one end shorter than the other. The positive sign of the battery is usually the longer end, while the negative sign of the battery is the shorter end. A bulb should be drawn like this, a circle with an X inside. The wire is simply a straight line. This is an open switch. As you can see, there's a gap here. For a closed switch, a horizontal line which should join both ends here should be drawn with no gaps to allow electric current to flow. With that, let's try out some questions now. Question 1. Arrange the circuits from the one with the brightest to dimmest bulbs. Remember what I told you about series circuits having only one path for the current to flow through and parallel circuits having more than one path for the current to flow through? Pause the video to try out the question. Okay, with that, let's start. Taking, let's start from circuit X. Taking the battery as three units, as there are three batteries, in circuit X, this is a series circuit as there's only one path for the electric current to flow through and battery power has to be shared between the two bulbs here. Hence, each bulb will receive three and, um, three, half, half of the three units of the battery pow battery's power as the battery has three units and it has to be shared between the two. Right? Okay, so next. Circuit Y is a parallel circuit as there is more than one path by which the electric current can flow through. Battery power does not need to be shared and each bulb receives exactly 3 units of the battery's power. Because there are 3 batteries, so there are 3 units, okay? Lastly, for circuit Z, there are only 2 batteries, right? So there's only there's, will be 2 units of the battery power. And because this is a parallel circuit as there is 
more than one path by which the electric current can flow through. The battery power need not be shared and each bulb will receive two units of the battery's power. Hence, the circuit with the brightest bulb is Y followed by Z and then X. Next, question 2. To find out if materials X, Y and Z can conduct electricity, Ben place them at positions 1, 2 and 3. 1, 2 and 3. Okay. So, it was observed that only bulbs B1 here, B3 and B4 are lighted up. Hence, you are to determine if X, Y and Z are electrical conductors or insulators. As bulbs, one, B, bulbs B1, B3 and B4 are lighted up, this means that electric current flows through them and you can roughly guess how the current flows, which is actually like this. So you have to follow my arrow, okay? So it's like this. Okay, this is generally how the current flows, okay? So the current does not flow through here because the bulb does not light up, okay? And the bulb does and the current does not flow through here too because the bulb B5 does not light up, right? Okay, so hence because it does not flow through here, this means that Z is an electrical insulator. And because it does not flow through here too, it means that X is not an electrical insulator. I mean, it, it means that X is an electrical insulator. <laughs> okay. And because the bulb B4 lights up, Y is a conductor as it allows electric current to flow through it. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. This video was brought to you by Project Love of Learning. With many thanks to Gabriel Lee and Koyang and Biao and Care Center. See you in our next video.